So Stratford Town captain Will Grocott joins me now here at the Arden Garages Stadium. Will, obviously it's been a very difficult time for Stratford Town uh, at the moment with Cody's killing on Boxing Day. Um, I mean, just what's the emotions been like since then? It's been tough. It's been very tough. I mean, I think, you know, the majority of the team is still in absolute shock that it even happened. Um, to be honest with you, it hasn't quite sunk in yet to me. Um, he's a real good friend of mine and, you know, it's it's tough, it's, it's really tough, but, you know, unfortunately life, you have to move on and everything we do now is going to be for Cody. I mean, Thursday there was that little gathering here at the football club just to share some memories of Cody. Um, from your perspective, how, how was that? Was that a good chance to try and maybe put some of what's happened to the back of your mind, despite how difficult it is to do that, given how close you were to him? I don't think you can ever put it to the back of your mind at the moment. It's, you know, it's, it's still, you know, like I said, before it was still in shot. I mean, but it was nice. It was nice to get everyone together. Um, you know, we all shared memories of code and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah, it was nice and obviously the guests that come down and stuff like that. You know, fair play to them. I think it was a good tribute to Co. I mean, what were some of the, I suppose there were so many stories to tell, but was there any in particular that stood out from Thursday night? None that we could say on camera. <laughs> um, just, just just, talking about, you know, nights out, we've had holidays we've had together. Um, just, just good memories with Abu Cody. I mean, it, it's, it's devastating. We have to call them memories. I'm still absolutely guided about it. I can't believe it's happened. I mean, how will you remember Cody? <laughs> Just as a fun-loving, loved life, kind-hearted, just beautiful, beautiful person. I mean, it just, it's, just, it's just awful that he's gone. I still can't believe it to this day. Obviously, Cody was part of the history-making squad during that 2018-19 season. You were here, the club went on to win the Southern League Challenge Cup for the very first time, got into the playoffs and, as I said, Cody was a big part of that. Just what was he like to play with on the pitch? Good player, really good player. So much potential. I mean, this season, he had quite a bad injury, so obviously he didn't play much. But, yeah, in that season, he was a massive part of it. Um, had so much talent. and I don't think he really realised how much talent he had. Um, and I wish I could tell him now and try to help him to push on, but obviously you can't do that. Um, but generally, like, massive part of the team, you know, on and off the pitch. And obviously there's been so much outpouring of support since, you know, the news broke that it was Cody that was killed at the, the, the Crane nightclub in Digworth on Boxing Day. What would he have made it of all that? Because football clubs up and down the country, have, you know, they've shared their messages. There's now the community fund that's going to be set up in his memory so that, you know, young adults can get into coaching, can get into refereeing. So, so what would he have made of all this? He'd been proud of it. He, would, he really would have. I mean, he was never one to sort of be in the limelight. So I think he would have been a bit embarrassed of some of it. But he's, um, yeah, he would have been proud to know, like, how many people actually cared about him and, and, and loved the kid. Um, so, yeah, I can... Hopefully he's looking down smiling on it now.